Want to find out how to get all eight ivory keys? Well, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys exactly where to find all eight of them and what the ivory keys will unlock. SFL, this is LaserBone, and today I'm going to tell you guys how to get all the eight ivory keys in the game. Now, I'm pretty sure some of you guys have seven out of eight, some of you have six out of eight, and some of you might just have like one out of eight, or some of you just might be zero out of eight. But I'm going to tell you guys how to get each individual ivory key, and also what the ivory keys will get you once you have all eight of them. So in order for us to dive into the video, let's talk about what you'll be able to get in the White House towards the left-hand side once you, like, uh, kind of towards the, uh, let me see, that'd be right right hand side of the crafting stations there's going to be a bunk bed that has a weapon crate right next to it and it says that you need a total of eight ivory keys in open in order to open that box once that box is open you're able to get a whole assortment of things not only do you get a weapon which is a f2000 you also get a white ivory die and you also get a cosmetic item now that is what you're able to get from the actual box but how exactly do you get these ivory keys well in order for you guys to get these ivory keys you are going to need to kill hunters and knowing where each hunter's at their location and knowing which hunter will actually drop a key is going to determine if you have that key or if you don't. So let's talk about the first ivory key now for the first ivory key you're going to want to make sure you go to this location right here which is the northeast part of the theater. You're going to head into the center of the atrium you're going to look for a open area within the atrium and you're going to find uh, two doors that are kind of coincide together with each other. Now on one side there is going to be a little laptop that you want to interact with. Once you interact with this laptop, you're going to run across from that door to the other door and there is going to be a light that you're going to interact with. Once you interact with that light, that light will then do a little fuzzy effect and the hunter will spawn. Kill that hunter and that hunter will drop you an ivory key. For ivory key number two, you're going to be checking on this location right here, which is on the edge of the map in the northwestern part at the Pomatic Event Center. You're going to find two hunters that actually spawn in this one. What you will need to do is find the field that has the kind of like run down swimming pool. Go to the swimming pool, do jumping jacks. Of course, you're going to want to make sure you do this at night time. I forgot to mention that at the beginning of the video. Make sure that every time you're spawning these, you're going to do these at night. Uh, you do the jumping jacks and then two hunters will spawn. Kill both hunters and you will get your ivory key number two. For ivory key number three, you're going to want to make sure you head to the northern part Part of the map there's going to be a building between the white house and the theater this is actually a very interesting one it's because it's right next to a control point event you want to head down these steps and make your way into an area where you're going to see a building with broken windows in this building you're also going to notice that there are four targets in front of you you're going to want to shoot each individual target starting from the top working all the way to the bottom shoot all four targets and you will spawn the hunter kill the hunter and that will net you ivory key number three for the fourth ivory key you're going to want to make sure you head to this location right here which is in the west pomatic park northeast of the lincoln memorial you're going to go down the sewer area once you go down the sewer area you're going to go work your way up or down down the sewer make a left and make another quick left you're going to see a laptop click on that laptop that laptop will then turn on and it's going to show you a symbol with a map with the letter x on it once you see the symbol that means that you have activated the location head to that location at nighttime and you are going to notice that there is a wooden plank with a light bulb hanging out. Shoot the light bulb that's hanging down from that wooden plank. Once you shoot that light bulb, a hunter will spawn, kill the hunter, and that will net you ivory key number four. For ivory key number five, you're going to want to make sure you head to the monument on the southeastern corner of the map, southwest of Capitol Hill. You're going to want to make sure, like, once again, you go there at nighttime. You're going to notice that there is a monument that is has a bunch of names written on them, and you're going to see these names lit up. Once it becomes nighttime, you are then going to notice that there's going to be two lamps that kind of light up and flash towards the monument. Shoot the lamp to the left-hand side, step away from the monument, and do a little salute. Once you do that salute, you will then notice that there is going to be a hunter that spawns. Kill that hunter, and that will net you ivory key number five. For the sixth key, you're going to want to make sure you head over to this location. That's going to be kind dab right in the center of the map. 
you're going to see a big lit up Christmas tree. Now, of course, you're definitely going to want to do this at nighttime again. And this is the one key that a majority of you might be missing because people who made videos were giving you guys misinformation. But thankfully, for those of you who were watching our channel, you guys got the right information. So you guys should probably have this key already. But if you were watching other videos, you're probably missing this key. Now, this particular key, what you will need to do is head to this location, wait for nighttime. Once nighttime arrives, Go into the left hand side, you're going to notice a green little shack that has a little button that you could turn on next to the coffee machine. Once you turn on that button, you're going to work your way down to the Christmas tree. If you're in a fire team of four or three or two, you're going to want to make sure everybody's right next to the Christmas tree. Once you guys go ahead and like kind of gather around the Christmas tree, you're going to notice that a total of four hunters appear. Now, some of you might have already done this and you only notice three hunters, but there is actually four hunters that appear in the Christmas tree. Kill all four hunters and you will get the ivory key. Some of you guys might have just killed three and that's why you didn't get the key to drop. If you killed all four hunters, you will then have your sixth ivory key. Now on to key number seven. So for key number seven, you're going to want to make sure you head to this location right here on the map. You're going to notice that there is a broken down building and this broken down building has a bunch of kind of windows facing you. You're going to hop on top of the vehicle, which is a little truck that's matched into the lobby. You're going to go ahead, jump on there. And you're going to shoot every window in the same way you're noticing in the video. So you're going to start from the bottom all the way across. You're going to shoot all the windows. Then you're going to work your way to the top row of, of uh, kind of windows. Shoot all the windows except the black one. Once you shoot every single window, you are then going to spawn the hunter. Kill this hunter and that will net you the seventh ivory key. For the last and final ivory key. Now this is the one that was glitched and now has officially been fixed after the update. What you will need to do is head over to the Washington Monument. Once you're in the Washington Monument, all you have to do is the following. You're going to make sure you take over that control point if it hasn't been taken over. You're then going to go proceed, head over to the elevator, open up that elevator, work your way down, and press a button that will show you a map with three different locations. You're going to want to make sure you head to each location like you're watching in this video right here. You're going to head to location number one. You're going to find a grave in that location. Make sure you walk up to that grave, salute that grave, and you will notice a fussy item that appears in the lower hand of your screen. Work your way to grave number two, which is right here on this location. Salute that grave, and you will also notice the fussiness on your screen. Then work your way to the last and final grave, salute that grave, and you will also notice that a fussy thing appears on your screen. Once you saluted all three graves, head back over to the Washington Monument and work your way down to the same area where you press the button. Go back down there, press the button of the computer, and that button will then show you a big orange circle. Once that big orange circle appears, head out of the monument and you will find the hunter that appears. Kill the hunter and you have nabbed yourself the eighth and final key. Head over to once you completed and got in every single ivory key, which is all total of eight of them. Head over back to the White House and open up the crate and claim your reward. Now, one thing I would suggest is make sure you at least world tier five already so you could get a high tier weapon drop instead of you having to recraft it or recalibrate that to a higher gear and there you guys have it that is how you get every single ivory key currently found in the game i do hope you did find this video helpful and informative if you did do me the huge favor guys drop a like share this video with your friends because that does help me out a lot also if you guys have any additional questions in regarding this video or any other videos in the channel or the channel in general Make sure you guys hit me up on any of my social medias. The links are down below. Also, if you ever want to stop by and have positive eyes, have some fun, have some laughs, definitely check us out over on Twitch. We stream very frequently, so make sure you hit us up with that follow. The link is also down in the description down below. Thank you guys once again for watching, and don't forget WGATAP, and I will catch you guys on the next video.